My bad, I wanted to go down memory lane, so I'm like these weak-ass rappers that talk this shit and then can't leave this shit for real. I wanted to go back to my hood and just enjoy my roots a little bit, you feel me? At my old trap house. I'm sorry. I mean my old bando. Old living house? Whatever. Whatever you want to call it. But, yeah. Take a nigga back. Maybe I'll get y'all to it on this video later, but, um, basically, I'm gonna try to make this one as quick as possible. I know I be saying that a lot, and then it be prolonged a lot of times, too, so I don't really try to say that too much, but anyways, I just wanted to say it like this. So, y'all know how y'all got the, um, people that be at up at the gas stations and everything like that, just ask for change, begging, all this and the third. So it's this one person up there. Like me, I don't judge but I don't judge a book by its cover. So I go off the energy I feel off of people. One thing I would say is like um it's this one dude up at this one gas station I go to a lot. And one day I had a conversation with him and I was like just talking to him and just picking his brain and shit like that. And he was a very intellectual dude, you feel me? Like, sometimes he be asking for change and shit, be just being posted up there like the average, but he don't really necessarily do it to, like, get drugs and all like that, like how other people be panhandling and shit like that. He just be asking for food most of the time. That's all he really be wanting money for. I want to start short, like, I ain't really trying to make this too long on no bragging tip and all like that, but, um... So, shit, slow motion for a nigga, right? So, um... Anyways, one of my big homies ended up bringing me some food and some money. Respect. Because it's not just a big homie that's trying to influence me to be on the path of destruction and streets and all that shit. He tries to better me and, um, what's the word I want to use? Help my family progress and everything like that, like a real big homie should. Teach me things on contract and anything like that. But anyways... He brought me some food and some, some gas for you, feel me? Gave me some money for some gas and, you feel me? Brought me some food for the house and everything like that. <laughs> so, um, I pull up to the gas station to go get some gas and shit like that. And, you feel me? The one intellectual dude is up there at the gas station just sitting up there again. So, then, you feel me? He asked me, like, um, you feel me? I talked to him, asked him how he doing, all this and the third, you feel me? He asked me. I tell him I'm living, so I'm blessed, you feel me? Enjoying another day. That guy woke you up to enjoy and, you feel me, we got the politics a little bit. He was telling me, like, shit, he wish he had some money for some food right now. So then I told him I, I might be able to help him. So by the time I get up the gas station. So by the time I get out the gas station, and, uh, he feel me, put the gas in the pump and all that shit. Like I said, my big homie gave me some food earlier. So if I look at it like this, if somebody passed on the blessing to me, why would I not pass on the blessing to somebody else? So, you feel me? I gave him some of the food that my big homie. Oh, shit. My fault. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. But, um. But yeah, I gave him some of the food that my big homie gave him. And it just it was a good feeling. I ain't really trying to do it for no cloud or nothing like that. Which is why I ain't recorded. And I ain't really trying to brag about it too much either. But it's just more so on the perspective of sometimes just do good and get back to your hood. Sometimes it just feel good to do that. You ain't got to do it for recognition. You ain't got to do it for attention. But sometimes do it just to, just to bless somebody else. You feel me? I don't do it to have something come back good for me, but you never know what what karma may bring you off of what you did. I, I walked through the hood for a minute. Something robbers can't do. They probably wonder like, what you doing over there? Oh, sh ooh, big ass spider web. Nope, no sorry, Bob. But yeah, this used to be the old spot. Old chill spot. It used to be my home as well. I mean, not just a trap house. I'll probably tell them how I progress on that another time. Let I me mean, like see. It should just be different. Different bandos, different routes. You feel me? Shit like that. Oop, doop, oop. What is that? Oop, doop, oop, boom. Scooby-Doo, fool. Peace.